For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 20 of the Napoli career mode here on FIFA 17. We start with a cup semi-final against Napoli at home. Now, I don't know if the away goals rule is effective in the Coppa Nazionale. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section down below. Do away goals matter in the Coppa Italia or do I not have to worry about that? Away goals are definitely, hopefully, well, definitely going to be an issue if Leicester score one. Hopefully they won't in uh, the Champions League game, which will actually be uh, game one of the next episode. But we have two games against Roma today, one in the semis of the Coppa Italia, one in the league. The league, by far, takes precedence at present. So uh, I'm going to play a rotation side in the cup and a first team against uh, Roma in the league. And then we have Crotone at the end of the episode. The league table at present does look pretty good compared to how it did a couple of episodes ago. We are in third place. We can pull a full three points clear of Roma if we beat them in the league, obviously. Uh, and we're only three points behind Milan, who drew their game in hand. So that's gone in our favour as well. So second is within reach, although Milan have beaten us twice. So on the head-to-head, -head, they'll be above us. So technically, I guess, we're actually four points away from second place. But... There's still 12 games to go in the season, plenty of points to be won and plenty of points to be lost by our rivals as well. 10 points to gap between ourselves and Juve. It's starting to open up a bit of a gap at the top of the table as uh, everybody else around them seems to be dropping points and we're kind of coming from a little bit further back. So we're staying close to Juve with regards a 10 point gap, but obviously it's still not close enough to even come anywhere near winning the title this season. Not to worry though. We uh, will definitely have the chance to win the league in future seasons. And of course, the, the board want us to win the league within the first two years, which hopefully we'll be able to do next season after we've strengthened in the summer. Hopefully with a decent, uh, a decent league finish and decent Champions League finish behind us. We're going to play Milik up top. We're still three weeks or so away from Bellotti coming back from injury. I'm desperate for that to actually happen because we could really do with him right now. But we're going to start with this team. And fingers crossed it's good enough to get ourselves a victory here against Roma in the Cup. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. Roma time. I'm interested to see how strong Roma's starting lineup is. Because of course it would give us an indication as to what the lineup in the league is going to be. And that is an extremely strong... Roma starting 11. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that's probably the strongest starting 11 they could possibly put out with new signing Alejandro Gomez there on the left-hand side. That means that they're clearly prioritising the cup, which means hopefully they'll either play tired first-team players in the league or they'll play a rotation side in the league and hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of that. That does, however, mean that this might be a very difficult cup tie. But the board only wanted us to reach the semi-finals, and this is the semi-final stage. So we've already done what the board wanted of us this season in this competition, whereas we haven't yet finalised a top three spot, which is what the board want from us in the league. And rather understandably, the league is more important to me than the Coppa Italia, so that's what we're prioritising. And Roma, well, I don't know. They may they may start a full first team again in the uh, in the in the league. We'll have to wait and see. But you would you would have thought that those players that are involved today would be tired by the time the league comes around and I'm going to pull that back actually and Insigne, oh Chesney with another good save we should be 1-0 up here but we're not but positive signs into Insigne to Milik oh, get around that corner ball's supposed to go all the way out to the right back both times so that's kind of annoyed me and now Florenzi's in behind of all people Alessandro Florenzi the right back playing at right mid today is Oh, turning me brilliantly, and he does have a good shot and shows it there, but thankfully not the accuracy. Alessandro Florenzi, one of the best right-backs in European football right now, and has the potential to become even better, of course, over the course of his career. I'm going to ding that over the top to Zielinski, and we could be in behind here. Well, we are in behind here. Zielinski, yes! 
After they nearly score at one end, we've caught them in behind. Well, Frenzy, the right mid, had pushed all the way up. And obviously, with a 3-4-3 or 3-5-2, whichever they're playing, they need the wing-backs to track back defensively. Because Florenzi was all the way up in the middle, he wasn't there. Zielinski able to get in behind and punishes Roma for that mistake. We are 1-0 up here inside the first half. Uh, yeah, go on then. We will go to Insigne. I wasn't sure whether I was going to or not there, but it, it did kind of open up for him. Millet will drop back here. We get that around the corner. Thankfully, Alan is there because it was my wing back that was actually out of position there. Johnny is still in the box. Husai will cross this in, looking for Milik, who could be underneath this. Is and I expect better, Arkadisha. I expect better from you there. That's a free header, and he's put it wide. Two nil there, and we are in command. But it's still just the one. That's nice football. Really nice football. Florenzi pushing forward again. This time, presumably, he's going to go for a pass rather than a shot. No, he is going solo. I get lucky, but then unlucky. The ball deflected, hit Drongowski on the foot as he dived to the right to try and save the initial shot, but it pops up free. Was it Mo Salah or Daniele De Rossi? It's Mo Salah there to just head home. Oh, I thought we'd gotten away with it when it deflected into Drongowski's foot and headed away from goal, but then... The little Egyptian popped up and headed home. Our lead lasted just 12 minutes. Nice tackle, solid tackle from Allen. Slinsky, oh, has beaten the defender rather too easily there. And we've committed another defender to a challenge. Kratis in here. Manlas has pace, but he can't cope with Kratis' turn. That's a very good block by the defender. Needed to be made and was with quite some force. Edin Dzeko looking to come away here, but not really any sort of pace whatsoever. They are going to take the advantage from one challenge. I thought I was going to give a foul away in the second one as well. Florenzi with a strike on his left foot. Seemingly having all of their chances here, Alessandro Florenzi. I'm not sure what's going on with him at right mid, but he's got plenty of uh, license to push forward. Unfortunately for Roma, that's the one thing that's happened that has caused us to go 1-0 up, for unfortunately. But, I mean, I'm kind of glad that he did because it's given us a lead here that we could perhaps build on here with Milik. If I hit that early... Good save from Chesney and Manolas is fast enough to keep that in as well. Looks like it's going to be 1-0. No, it's going to be 1-1 even at halftime. For some reason, it just escaped my mind that um, they'd equalised. But of course they did through that Mo Salah header. Oh, that's brought me back down to earth with a bump. Right then, into the second half we go. Hamšík was a heavy touch, but defender's tucked a long way in. Well, I say defender, it's probably Gomez actually thinking about it. But crazy, what a run. And we will pull it back. And Milik. Yes, we have our 2-1 lead. Our advantage is back again. And less than five minutes into the second half. Crazy is so good at just cutting inside like that. He's got such agility that he can just keep the run going and cut across that Milik so that it bent away from the keeper as well. Decent finish. He let me down with a header in the first half, but he hasn't there. Napoli 2, Roma 1. Oh, just kicked that straight to... Well, that's worked in his favour, hasn't it? He? he kicked it straight at Hamšík, who tested it straight to Florenzi. And he's just going to push all the way through here, Alessandro Florenzi. I thought I was... Oh, no. I nearly took him down, so I panicked a little bit. And he's just drilled it left-footed straight underneath the goalkeeper, who just... Uh, if he'd have gone with his feet, he probably would have saved it. He's tried to go with his hands, and it's... Just right next to him, so he couldn't get down quickly enough. I panicked a little bit there because I thought I'd taken him down. Didn't commit with the other defender. Oh, it's not the best of finishes, but if anyone was going to score again for Fiorentina, for Roma, it was going to be Florenzi. And it is that man that's made it 2-2. I hope away goals don't count in this competition because they have a couple here. Uh, like I say, I'm not sure. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section as we head towards the second leg in a, a month's time actually between now and then. In Sydney, I was going to try and hit that early but they closed me down quite quickly and unfortunately I wasn't able to. Half an hour to go here. It's been end to end throughout with both attacks just running at each other and we've had quite an entertaining game actually. Oh jeeps. It's 2-2. Linsky committed the defender there which is exactly what he wanted to do and Pulisic can look to run in behind or run straight into Fazio. Will then lie on top of him. Ten minutes to go here. Still 2-2. A hell of a game here against Roma. Maggio will drill that out wide to Crazy, who looks to burst past the defender, and he's done well, and he's done very well. Crazy makes it 3-2. I'll be honest, I didn't expect him to finish that, but I'm very glad that he did. He's a, I, I actually really like this guy. 
I'm really glad you guys told me to buy him because his acceleration, agility and balance is superb. And that finish is really, really good. I thought the defender was going to either block it or he'd pull it wide, but I had no option there but to shoot, so I went for it. We lead again. 3-2. No less. Push forward here from centre-back now into a forward position, but if we've learned anything from this game, it's that Roma defenders can have a big part to play in their offensive third. Unfortunately, we weren't able to find the man with the pass there. Maggio trying his best to win it back, but Alejandro Gomez turns. Good tackle. Zielinski will look to play this down the line to Crati. Oh my god, I could not have overplayed that anymore if I tried. Kicked it all the way down the pitch to Wojtek Szczesny. Win this header though, we could be back in, but we're not. You can see the amount of Roma bodies forward here. Vital tackle from Maximovic. And we again could be in at the other end. Insigne, I see the run. Poke it. No, it wasn't meant for you, but Pulisic will take it. And oh, I'm trying to turn past Fats here, but that's where the agility and the balance isn't in one player's skill set where it is on the other side of the pitch. Pulisic had to slow to turn and unfortunately wasn't able to get past the defender, but it doesn't matter. We win 3-2 in a crazy cup game and now we have to go and play them again in three days' time. Jorginho through there to Milik. Start the game off on the front foot perhaps. Good footwork by Dries Mertens. We'll look to burst around Fazio. Some more good footwork and then a Berber spin. This could be the perfect dream start. Oh, and it is! Off the post. Wonderful finish by Dries Mertens. After the win in the cup, we just needed to get a draw here. I would have been happy with to be fair away at Roma. But to start off by going 1-0 in front inside four minutes, that is perfect. It's his 10th goal in Serie A this season, Dries Mertens. A vital cog in our Napoli machine. And the Napoli machine right now is 1-0 up. Win that, Diwara. Oh, well, it was Edin Dzeko, I suppose. I can let him off a little bit for not winning that header. Lorenzi gets tackled by Diwara, but then still comes away with the ball somehow. Paradis through there to El Shah. This is good football from Roma. And Perotti has gotten away from the defender and puts it wide. A let off. Defensive mistake there, missing the tackle. Perotti has the acceleration and pace to get away, but not the finishing ability, clearly. And thankfully so. Still 1-0. It's going to drop here to Mertens, though. He's won that header. But unfortunately, heads it to Fazio, not to Marek Hamšík, and I'm not going to catch Mo Salah with Hamšík. Thankfully, Florenzi's pass is waylaid. He's had a, a mixture of performance, Florenzi, in this game and the cup game. He either does something amazing, or he makes a mistake. There's no middle ground. He doesn't just do the basics. He either goes on an incredible run, takes it past seven different people, and has a shot on goal, or he makes a mistake that very nearly. Ended up with us eventually scoring a second goal. But Wojciech Szczesny with a smart save. Hamsik with a cross. Koulibaly's underneath it. Very good in the air, but not the accuracy to go along with the aerial prowess. Still 1-0. Mertens into Hamsik. Back to Mertens. Oh, I was going to say through the gap, but it just basically played a 1-2 off Nangolan's shins. Milik, I just got to time this pass properly. And he's done exactly that. Mertens' shot is well blocked, though, by Fazio. That could have been a perfect start to the second half as well. We could have a goal inside three minutes in the first and three minutes in the second, but unfortunately, Juice Merton's not able to extend our lead. We've had a number of start that again. We've had a number of opportunities in this game, both teams, but not able to get many of them on target. I think we'd had eight shots between us at half time, and only two had been on target, one each. So we need to improve in that area if we want to get a second goal to kill this game off. And I'm trying to work something, but I couldn't there. And Perotti will give this to Zeko, but Diawara is much quicker and fast enough to intercept there. Gulam into Jorginho. Runners all around me, one of which is Milik here. And I'll try and get it on his left foot and I get the shot off. But Rudiger with a the block. They've been very good at that in this game, Roma. Getting the foot in. And Perotti's dribbling is causing me all sorts of problems as well in this game. What a challenge by Diawara. Throwing out the leg. I'm going to try and play the 1 2 here, Hamsik, but I couldn't quite do it. Less than 20 minutes to go. We've had nine efforts, as you can see there, or could see there, top left. But unfortunately, just the one goal so far. I'd like to get a second just to put my nerves at ease, because Roma are obviously capable of scoring, but so far, they haven't really come close. Jorginho in there to Marco Rog, who's just come on as a substitute. That pass was supposed to go. Oh, not even close to there. Here's Alap. They're going to equalise, aren't they? This is useless. There's no point having one of these.
I give up. 1-1. One, one. We land into Diawara. Here's Mertens. Michael Rod making the run. Who's just made that mistake to lead to the Roma equaliser. Can he be involved in a goal to put us back in front? Juice Mertens to Lucas Maurer. Trying to squeeze his shot off. Rod gets there. Drops to Jorginho. Good save by... Oh, no. Good save by Chesney and Rod trying to put it in at the second attempt. But falls over as he's trying to reach for it. Lucas into Mertens. Back to Rod. We'll go to Lucas again. Now, I'm running out of stamina here, but I am just going to try and burn away. We'll turn inside, which he's done well. Good dribbling. We'll look for a man in the middle. It's Dries Mertens. I need to hold off Rajan Angolan here and then find a teammate. Lucas, good spin. I'm going to pull it back. I see a man in the middle who is free. Wasn't supposed to go to Marco Rog. <sighs> Fuck, that's going to be game, isn't it? Win this header. Get that forward. Flick that on. Bring it down. Play the ball around the corner. No, Fazio steals it off in final whistle. Well, the game has screwed me over there. That, unfortunately, is just one of those scenarios where... It's a FIFA goal. It's played the wrong pass. And, unfortunately, we've conceded from it. Dominated the game, but we only get a point. That's quite possibly one of the most annoying things that's happened throughout this entire season. Considering the gravity of that result and how important it was that we got a win in it. It's actually meant that we've dropped to fourth now and outside the top three. We would have been still inside the top three on 52 points if we'd held out for that win. And we would have been three points off Milan as well. Oh, wow. That's desperately, desperately annoying. Oh, I keep forgetting to take Alan out of the... <laughs> Bloody training. I'm just I'm so used to just going Y A and just getting it all done that I keep forgetting. Right, well next up we have bottom of the league Crotone. So that has to be three points, doesn't it? And a big win to boot. Little dink over the top to Gulan, takes it in his stride very well actually, but it's pace there from the defender. Into Mertens. Nice run by Hamshik. Reverse ball to get it to him. And we'll put that back through to Dries Mertens. Oh finish! That is the Dries Mertens of old. He's actually in some pretty decent goal-scoring form right now, Dries Mertens. An elongated 1-2. And then, what a finish. To bend it away from the keeper like that and hammer it in off the woodwork. Two really good goals for Dries Mertens in the past couple of games. Really pleased with how well this team is playing right now. It's just a shame we weren't able to hold out for that win against Roma in the league. Let's try and push for more here. Nice tackle by Tonelli. Diora across into Jorginho. Malik. Merton's making the run. Oh, and he's taken that in his stride brilliantly. Now I just need to find the opportunity for the pass. Or maybe to finish off the solo run. Dries Mertens. Oh, off the bar. He scored off the post in the last game. He scored off the post in this game. And they're very nearly scoring off the woodwork again. But unfortunately off the bar and out. We'll find him again though. And oh, blocked. Jorginho through there to Mertens. Into Malik. Mertens making a run, but not really a run I can use. Milik will find there, and Jorginho is making a run I can use here. And he'll turn inside and look to finesse this home. It's a good block. Could keep that in there with Lucas. Actually, I'm going to leave it. I don't think I'd have gotten there anyway. Corner to come in here from this near side. And it's a decent whip. Tonelli up. Ball also up. Over the bar. Half time, 1-0. Well then, Jorginho, that was a little bit aggressive, wasn't it? Pretty sore, that was a two-footed lunge, but he's gotten away with it. I'm going to pull this back inside and then look to finesse that into the bottom corner, but unfortunately it's gone just wide. What a lunge! Jumped into that challenge there, Jorginho. If he hadn't have got the ball, that surely would have been a red card. Decent delivery again. Koulibaly heads away, but only as far as Falcinelli, whose shot goes wide of the target. Crotone, close to getting themselves an equaliser there. What I'm going to do now is take Milik off and look who's on the bench. Andrea Bellotti is back. Now, can we get him a goal on his return to first team action? We've got 35 minutes to get him exactly that. Ourselves a 2-0 lead and Bellotti with the goal, I think. That's my prediction. We'll have to see if the prediction comes true. Jig, and there's Diwara. Put that around the corner. Surely not. Bellotti. Scruffy finish. Scruffy finish. He is out of practice, of course. 
Nice tackle by Jorginho. Hamsit picks up the loose ball. It's Lucas outside. That was a terrible ball. But Belotti could get him a, an assist here on his return to the first team. No. Jorginho hits the outside the post. Well, the woodwork's been hit quite often today, isn't it? Unfortunately, that time, it hasn't hit the woodwork and gone in. Belotti's in the middle here to perhaps be on the end of a cross. Mertens knocks that down. I think Belotti might have been offside, unless the man that was there with the cross deliverer to uh, keep him onside. Hamship with the delivery of the cross this time. Flicked on backwards there, and that's going to go out for... Actually, who did that come off? Them or me? Uh, my throw. Can we still get ourselves this second goal? It was only a 1-0 scoreline against Roma that led to... A rather unfortunate mistake that meant that... Oh, that's a foul, surely. Ref! Oh, my word. Blotty destroyed on the edge of the box. I didn't even bother chasing after the loose ball. I was that confident I was going to get a foul there. Unbelievable. Because forward there into Blotty. Spins well. I could try and run solo here with Blotty and get him the goal that I'm so desperate for. But no. And he's gone down and stayed down there. I don't like the look of that. Jorginho with a strike. Good save. But surely not. Don't tell me Belotti's going to come back from injury and then immediately get injured again. That cannot be a thing. Please don't let that be a thing. He's back and running around again, so I hope he's going to be all right. We do get a win here against Crotone, but it was only by the narrowest of margins, despite complete dominance again in the game. Juventus play Milan, which is a big game for the title race. If Milan win, then they are right back in it. That win for us there against Crotone, hopefully, will move us up back into the top three again. Uh, I'll advance a couple of days just to ensure that all of the weekend's worth of games are played. I don't want to manage the Greek national side, if you uh, don't mind. Thank you very much. Uh, Johnny wants to play some more games. Well, you'll be playing in the next game against Leicester, my man, so don't worry about that. Champions League up next is the first game of the next episode. But what does Serie A look like? Serie A looks like that. Milan lost to Juventus and that has moved Inter up into second. They have exactly the same uh, everything apart from the goal difference or goals for and goals against, which is only one different. Inter top, presumably on head to head. We are fourth, just two points behind. We would be in second. No, third. We'd be behind Milan because of head to head. We would be third and level on points with Milan if I hadn't balls up against Roma and passed the ball to the wrong man. 12-point gap to Juventus at the top of the table. They have a 10-point lead over anybody else with 10 games to go. I think the title is going to go to Juventus, but the European spots are wide open, as it is at the bottom of the table. Unfortunately for Crotone, that was their 18th defeat of the season against me there. But that's going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching. Do drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too for more. Thankfully, Bellotti isn't going to be out injured any longer. Should be able to start against Leicester, fingers crossed, and I'll see you next time.